the, the, this, this painting is like how I began to describe how you would take the, uh, say, the, the Greek notion of, of, of utopia, which many people would now consider just simply a kind of evolutionary stage. Um, so that I, I use like the, the logarithmic spiral in which um, the, the right angle triangle, because like a, a lot of what Plato was doing was attempting to uh, like deal with the concept of, of, of the atoms at the same time, because a, a lot of Greek philosophy was basically materialistic, uh, and, and turned this materialism into something that was extremely abstract. So that the 30-60 triangle or the, or the 45 degree triangle that architects use today are a, actually represent the kinds of atoms that, uh, that, that, that Plato claimed that the universe was composed of. So that if, if you were to produce a situation where all, all social problems were resolved, that you would have to do this on, uh, on such a scale that it was able to resolve three, uh, three basic phenomena. The first phenomenon is, is like, uh, say, heading into pure being as, as in, in terms of the mystical experience of an individual, which of course then abdicates the social connection. The second would be the, uh, and that, that would be called uh, utopia, spelled with EU. Um, the one that would con that would continue what is unnecessary, I would call cacotopia, or the or the inverse, or, or dystopia, and that would be a vector of a spiral that would be, in a sense, going outward. Because the spiral makes an infinite number of revolutions around its focus, but doesn't arrive. So there's something that is always moving away from it that has to be considered. That would be like collective alienation, uh, where coming together created more and more problems. The third one, I, I would call kinetopia. This is like a kind of, of dissipation or, or, or just simply staying at the same level, which is a circle, because that's the third vector of the spiral. This would be like live totally, uh, today we would say like a, a total pitch life, uh, where nothing, nothing changes. There's no change of consciousness up or down. It just remains the same. So the, these are our uh, conditions which would have to be overcome by the, the dynamism of the, of the spiral going in. This is like uh, I was talking before about Apollo and, and Dionysus, that the, uh, the many times the visionary genre gets associated with romantic art, uh, especially when the analogies are made to uh, pre raphaelites or the French symbolists. In the, in the 19th century, which are, are generally grouped with the, say the whole, the whole notion of, of romanticism, I, I think it really isn't. I think that uh, you'll find that uh, the people who are Apollonian are, are systems builders. People today who would be very much interested in, in hol holistic systems. The, 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 the Dionysians, on the other hand, would be those who considered the universe in terms of, of basic necessity rather than reason. And, uh, and, and continue to, in a sense, figure out how to break systems down. So both of those impulses are, are necessary. And I, and I think that the, the sense of balance that passes through uh, the, the genre has to be maintained. Like that. This is a, is a homage to, to the analysis. Uh, I, I, I built sculpture, in a sense, within the tradition of how it was originally done which was first a, uh, a mask on a tree, then a, a cape behind it, then eventually a body image, and then the starting to tell the, the myth of Dionysus as, as somebody who could transform himself and, uh, and who was born of the, of the Virgin Assembly on December 25th on the island of Samos, and began to work, uh, you know, his way through the culture and uh, became a, a, a kind of a sore point of her who eventually had him killed and he was uh, then given birth again by Zeus uh, on, on March 25th. 
So as a, as, a, as a character in Greek mythology, he plays a, a extremely in, in, in interesting part because uh, it's, it's a kind of a hermaphrodite, which uh, in a sense is able to, in, in one sense, combine both of the of Apollonian and, and, and the Dionysian impulses in one person. So many people, when they when they do the uh, when they do their rendition of it, find they move towards one or the other. I I, I try to maintain a balance in this because I think that uh, I agree with Plato that necessity, of course, is is uh, is prior to reason. Uh, Heraclitus, the critic, one of the pre Socratics, was a great influence on Plato, and especially to move away from the from the notion of of, of, of material itself. And his idea about the universe was that it was based on fire. Uh, this is kind of a, 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 a Euroboros concept, which means that it can change into anything and, and come back on itself. Um, the concept of the, of the logos, which people like uh, as Alice Bailey take up in the in the 19th century in Madame Blavatsky, is really uh, defined uh, for Heraclitus. It's like it's, it's the inverse of the of the subconscious. It's like he he believed that when everyone was conscious, that they were real. When they were dreaming, they they were unreal. They were disconnected. That the only unity uh, is possible in consciousness. So we, we would we would call that like people moving into the into a trans consciousness or, or a super consciousness. Uh, this one is like part of my, my own influence. I, I began to be interested in labyrinths, and uh, so I, I I was fooling around, and one day I thought of like designing a, a, a pinball museum with the with the concept because of the the sense of. The, the kind of labyrinthine movement towards uh, a particular pinball machine, then the kind of enclosure that we would be at the top of where everything was uh, eliminated from the process of the game, and then suddenly after you're through, you leave with what there is a, a slight backward glance at the thing. And underneath would be all of the, from the, from the 19th century, like from Bagatelle on up to any kind of, of display and, and, and Computer games that would go on today would be would be logged and, and presented as part of the museum. This would be ho holographically hooked up around the world, and you can see champion players uh, on, on your own uh, on your own video screen as to how they actually work. Uh, this one is no, and it's also along with this. If you, uh, I think I'm trying to inject a sense of, of humor in, into the situation. That uh, this, of course, is is, is like a, an extremely interesting part of the visionary genre. People think of it as, as some kind of like it isn't there. Uh, I I think it's very much there, and it's the connection between Apollo and Dionysus. I think it's what Prometheus is all about. The, this one, the the Atheonopolis, the Singularity City, is an an attempt to provide uh, through structured singularities through uh, an, an analog between my dimensional system and, and uh, Plato's theory of, of the line, where uh, there are, are four types of knowledge, as to how you have a group of people actually connect to and, and understand the form of utopia. And this would involve uh, uh, 64 people, 32 from, from, the, from the present, 16 from the past and 16 from the future. And that I'm, I'm using what, uh, I've invented what I call a, uh, a time machine, which is a way to amplify pre and retrocognition. And that's involved in what, in what this is. But I'll explain that to you. Okay, from, from Tibet in, in India, uh, in terms of, of my own influences, that I began a long time ago painting uh, mandalas. And, uh, I, I think, as, as many people would agree, that the endowment structure is like a primary uh, kind of form that that uh, that goes through the visionary genre. Take take the work of Blake. That many of his paintings, the reason for the strength is the kind of of, of centering that you find. He may be using imagery that 
appears to the 18th century, but it's simply the organization. So that uh, something that, that this looks a lot like the Tibetan mandala, because I was looking at a lot of them. So that the the particularized formulation uh, is simply due to the the, the, the content of the, that culture had developed. But I think that you can, in, a, in the one sense, abstract the mandala structure and begin to use it in, in other ways.